Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Buckle up for today's collection of thrilling and exciting clips that will make your heart beat in ways you never thought possible. Ready? Let's jump right into it. We start off with this man who saw this bizarre looking worm and put it in his palm. As the man taps the creature, it responds by extending what appears to be a whitish root into the man's palm. This raises the questions about what this creature could be. Leeches, known for their blood-sucking tendencies, typically don't exhibit this kind of behavior. However, the presence of a root-like extension raises questions about the creature's biological characteristics and its interactions with its environment. Without much info on this creature, we're torn between speculations on whether this creature is a known species displaying a unique behavior or if it's an entirely new species that has been discovered. Back in 2018, the US military found itself with puzzling footage of an object flying over a facility in Iraq. The object was nicknamed UAP by US intelligence. This peculiar object looked like a jellyfish having a strange head-like feature with what looked like tentacles on it. It hovered across the facility, exhibiting color changes from white to black. Now, the experts chimed in with what their take on this celestial mystery could be. They suggested that the color-changing spectacle could be a response to temperature shifts as the object meanders through different locations. As pleasing as that may have sounded to their ears and that of their higher-ups, many were skeptical about the explanation. Despite the skepticism, many believed the military no more than they're letting on. Many thought it could be something alien, perhaps a scout drone from a reconnaissance mission beyond our solar system. Others thought this was nothing more than a mundane plastic bag or something similar stuck on a camera lens. Don't let me be the one to tell you which it could be, having seen it with your own eyes, what do you think we're looking at? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. <laughs> Our next clip takes us to the depths of a mysterious cave, where a group of intrepid individuals stumbles upon a creature. He had the curious eyes with an otherworldly glow that drew immediate attention to its strange and captivating appearance. Upon closer inspection, the creature's ears exhibited an unusual structure resembling human ears yet with a distinctive twist. Notably, the lower part seemed absent, while the upper part took on a pointed appearance at the tip. The brave explorers decided they'd stumbled upon something beyond the ordinary, and took matters into their own hands and managed to secure the creature, suspecting it might be a djinn. For the uninitiated, a jinn is a supernatural entity often depicted in Middle Eastern mythology. They said to possess unique powers and exist in a realm beyond our normal perception. But if that's the case, how did these guys manage to capture one using just physical force? Unable to find answers to these, some debate that this may be nothing more than a mutant, perhaps a reptilian man. I know what you're thinking, that's even more ludicrous than the djinn, but how do you explain what we're seeing? A trail camera set up in a cornfield captured this pair of glowing orbs among the plants. These lights are so clear that it's hard to ignore. The owner of the image was so puzzled by this that he posted the picture with hopes of finding what this could be. Some say it could be headlights in the distance, but how's that even possible? The distance from the nearest road rules out the headlights theory. Others speculate that the orbs could be part of a global phenomenon that we've seen in various parts of the world. You know, the extraterrestrial kind. Then there's others who think they belong to otherworldly creatures crossing into our planes. The theories are endless, but the truth can be just one. What do you think it is? You 
You know those conspiracies of there being another world within our world? The age-old tale of a hollow earth talk? Well, these guys found something that might just prove that theory. On one of their expeditions, these individuals stumbled upon a strange hole in the ice. Out of curiosity, they took out a camera and lowered it into the hole to look inside. What they found was far beyond their own imaginations. Instead of the expected icy expanse, the camera unveiled dried ground beneath the ice. Once this footage hit the internet, many believed this was the evidence they needed to confirm that there is indeed another world existing within our world, aka the Hollow Earth. While some may dismiss it as a quirk of nature or a peculiar ice formation, these individuals let their imaginations run wild with thoughts of subterranean worlds and hidden realms. The Hollow Earth enthusiasts found a glimmer of validation in their unexpected footage. Looking at the footage, I can see why they think that, but do you share in their excitement and enthusiasm? Many don't, especially Julius, my new assistant. Aaron, the believer in all things paranormal, wanted to visit the site, but unfortunately our adventurers refused to disclose the exact location and decided to keep it their little secret. Bummer. The next clip comes from a man who took a picture as he was exploring the woodlands close to his home. Unknown to him, he'd captured something that many have only dreamed of seeing, the legendary Bigfoot. If you pay attention to the image on your screen right now, you should see just in front of the woods stood an eight to nine feet tall creature. The creature has dark fur and is staring straight into the camera. You tell me that's not a Bigfoot. Yet, as with all things extraordinary, skepticism rears its head, with many doubters suggesting it to be nothing more than a hoax. Some stated it was a cleverly edited image, while others suggested it was perhaps a person concealed within a well-designed costume. But what do you say? Is this real, or do you think it's a hoax? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? I don't want Aaron sending a skinwalker after you. Now back to today's episode. Our next clip features a creature that was liberated from its icy confines. What the liberator expected to be a creature from the Ice Age turned out to be something that looks like the offspring of the Night King of Game of Thrones. The creature was blue and had a pair of human arms and legs. Its face resembled a baby, but its body looked like an adult creature. If we know anything about conspiracy theories and alien enthusiasts, it's that things like this make the hairs on their necks stand up. Naturally, once this image was posted online, many theories came from both camps. Some argued that it was a relic from an ancient civilization frozen in time and waiting to be on Earth, while others stated that we are looking at something of cosmic origin preserved in the icy embrace of the Earth. As the debate raged on, the skeptics and logical ones stated that this was nothing more than an elaborate hoax. They stated that this had to be photoshopped. Looking at the image, I get where they're coming from. But what if, just what if, this is truly real? Think about it. As much as we'd love to properly investigate this and bring you answers, I guess we can't. You know how we've been asking you to send in your footage, and many of you have been hesitating. Well, this capture was sent in by a subscriber of the channel, and you and I are gonna help this person understand what they captured. Looking at the image, what do you see? Julius believes it could be a man in a costume exploring the outdoors, but then again, Julius is just a figment of my imagination. Whilst Aaron believes it could be either an otherworldly or extraterrestrial exploring our lands at night. Given the blurry nature of the capture, there's only so much we can do. But what do you also see when you look at it? Tell us in the comments section. While on a United Airlines flight flying over Denver, Colorado, a passenger spotted this object fly past them. 
His initial thoughts were, Oh, a bird. But hey, let's be real. If this was a bird, it'd be one super bird. Whatever this was, it was moving at a speed. It would make even the fastest planes look on in envy. Once home, the passenger shared this footage on Reddit, and everyone who saw it was amazed. The speculative buzz surrounding this mysterious object undoubtedly sparked countless debates. Many were quick to point out that it was a saucer. This left them all with more questions than answers. Was it a top-secret government experiment, a cutting-edge aircraft with mind-boggling speed capabilities, or dare we say it, a genuine encounter with visitors from another world? UFO enthusiasts and skeptics alike must have had a field day dissecting every pixel of the footage, scrutinizing for clues and undoubtedly conjuring up a plethora of conspiracy theories. Hopefully it's what they hope for it to be. And if it is, then you and I are in some serious trouble. During a walk through the wilderness, someone came across this hole in the ground. Usually looking at the hole, you would think it was some kind of pit or watering hole, but instead it was something entirely different. As our curious wanderer trains the camera lens on this unsuspecting hole, brace yourselves for the jaw-dropping revelation. Instead of the anticipated pit, what's unveiled is a mysterious spiral staircase leading into the depths of the earth. Yeah, you heard that correctly, an underground facility right there in the heart of the wilderness. This facility had lights on it that were still switched on. Now, either this is like one of those World War bunkers that had some pretty good technology that can keep the lights on for all these years, or this is a secret facility. If it's the former, Kudos to the engineers who crafted the bunker that can keep the lights on for what seems like forever. But if it's the latter, then we have a problem. What could they be hiding from us that requires a top secret underground facility in the heart of the wilderness? Things kind of creepy. It's like a person's silhouette up in the clouds. While overseeing mountain renovations during construction, a man unexpectedly spotted a figure standing atop the peak, seemingly serving as an unforeseen foreman. As he zoomed in, the realization of what he was witnessing dawned upon him. It wasn't just any mountain-dwelling creature, it was the legendary Bigfoot, standing tall and appearing well, rather grumpy. But why would Bigfoot be grumpy? Now, aware that Bigfoot typically inhabits mountainous regions, it became apparent that the construction crew had unwittingly chosen to give the creature's home a makeover without seeking permission. The creature's stance alone conveyed its clear displeasure with the ongoing construction work. It didn't take Bigfoot enthusiasts too long to figure this out. And when they did, they warned the construction workers, but no one took them seriously. Thankfully, no one got hurt, because although grumpy, this Bigfoot had no interest in hurting any humans, just like many of the other Bigfoots we have seen around the world. Next up, we have today's bonus segment. Can you accurately tell me what the creature in this capture is? If you can, kindly do so in the comment section and start your comment with bonus footage. Don't forget to add one interesting fact about what you see, just to make sure we know what you're talking about. The most accurate comment with the most interesting fact wins a chance to be featured in our future videos. This is a chance you certainly cannot pass by. We can't wait to read your answers. Here we have another strange encounter in the wilderness. A TikToker in Japan embarked on a camping adventure in the wilderness, expecting a serene night under the stars. As night fell, everything was normal until this started to happen. The van began to shake aggressively and the door of the van banged loudly. Now normally, you'd think maybe there's a storm brewing or perhaps some mischievous critter having a late night party on the van, but the footage from the outdoor camera he had set up shows nothing of the sort. Naturally, this left room for lots of speculation and theories. Some thought it was a spirit trying to send a message, whereas others could swear it was a forest guardian playing pranks on unsuspecting campers. 
As interesting as each of these theories might be, there's certainly no way to confirm which is true. One thing we can confirm, however, is that the young lad is lucky to have made it out in one piece without any damage to his body or soul. Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, subscribed, could you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send Mr. Bigfoot after you now, would you? Imagine walking out of your room to enjoy the evening sky and then coming across this. While the visual spectacle is undeniably captivating, let's not forget that lurking beneath the mesmerizing display is a force of nature that demands respect. The sheer power and unpredictability of these bolts makes them a force to be reckoned with. As we marvel at the awe-inspiring beauty of the night sky set ablaze, it's crucial to acknowledge the inherent danger that accompanies such displays. Lightning storms, as spectacular as they may look, can be very dangerous. Observe the appropriate precautions during such storms and whatever you do, don't pick up your camera and stand in the rain trying to get a picture. You might not make it back home. I almost fell off my chair when I saw this next image. The picture was apparently taken on the mirror of a motorcycle. Brace yourself for it. The rider, while on the road alone, noticed a strange woman's head perched on his shoulder. The peculiar woman had her tongue out and it was oddly longer than a normal human tongue. Her eyes were pure white and the skin around her eyes was dark. Keep in mind that when he saw the woman, he was alone on the motorcycle. He hadn't picked up a passenger and neither had he made a stop that could allow anyone to join him. So who or what on earth was this human sitting behind him? Many in the online community state that it has to be a spirit. Others think the whole thing is a hoax. What do you think? This is a bird's eye view of the incident that took place in Miami quite recently. For those unfamiliar with the situation, a significant police presence enveloped the Bayside Marketplace Mall, sparking rumors of an extraterrestrial encounter. Some witnesses even claimed to have spotted a tall, unidentified figure in the vicinity, adding to the mystery surrounding the incident. Nevertheless, the Miami Police Department promptly dispelled the rumors, clarifying that the heightened police presence was in response to a disturbance caused by a group of teenagers setting off fireworks and engaging in looting. It was definitively stated that the situation had no connection to anything extraterrestrial. Despite the Miami Police Department's assertions, various footage that surfaced after the incident seems to suggest otherwise. In one such video captured from tall buildings in the vicinity, a colossal creature can be observed strolling past the police cars. The figure is unmistakable, raising questions about whether the authorities were attempting to conceal the presence of such a creature or if there's an explanation for the apparent discrepancy in accounts. Speaking of aliens, this next image was taken on a trail camera at around 3.45 a.m. The camera was one to one and a half miles off the road and on private property. In the image, we can see a man in a white top and trousers. He had in his hand a storage box. However, what captures attention and sparks intrigue is the peculiar appearance of the man's face. With many questions looming, theories began to fly out of the community. Some suggested it could simply be a man wearing a hat. Others thought it had to be otherworldly, and some also believed it was an extraterrestrial trying to blend in. Which of these do you think is most likely the situation? Share your thoughts in the comments section. I have much to say, but perhaps in the next episode. Until then, enjoy. During his night shift, a park keeper was serenaded by these haunting sounds coming from the woods nearby. The eerie sounds resembled peculiar howls, but carried a distinctively human quality. The gatekeeper, with years of experience in his role, attested that he had never encountered such unsettling sounds in all the years he'd worked there. 
Intrigued and determined to uncover the source, the park keeper ventured into the woods for an investigation. However, to his bewilderment, he returned empty-handed, unable to pinpoint the origins of the sounds. What do you think this could be? Could it be the nocturnal activities of an elusive creature, their cries echoing through the night? Or perhaps the veil between our world and the supernatural has briefly lifted, allowing us to hear the voices of ethereal entities. Some even entertain the idea of mischievous individuals, potentially dabbling in occult practices or playing elaborate pranks on the unsuspecting park keeper. What about you? Why do you think of the whole thing? Personally, I think there's always a scientific explanation to everything. Next, take a look at this security footage of a backyard that captured something rather sinister. The video starts off with what appears to be a calm night with nothing out of the ordinary. But in a few seconds, we see something emerge from the darkness. Behold, it was a tall, pale figure with an imposing stature that dwarfed the surrounding trees. Standing at an impressive height estimated to be around 8 to 9 feet or more, this being appears to be in black attire. The creature's unsettling presence is accentuated by its glowing eyes, casting another worldly appearance. What creature could this be? Is it a wandering zombie, which would explain why it's wearing clothes, or is there more to it? I mean, its height is definitely not human. Or am I sleeping seeing what's not there? What do you guys think? Aliens are all the buzz now and we can understand why, but this is footage from some years ago and we can't even emphasize enough how eerie looking it is. Take a look. So what do you see in the footage? Did you initially think it was an alien or an extraterrestrial being? If so, I wouldn't blame you. Interestingly, some individuals have been sharing snapshots of this creature on paranormal pages, claiming it to be an alien. But what if I told you that this isn't an alien at all? What if I said that what you're seeing is actually a bear? Would you be surprised? The creatures you're witnessing in the footage are actually bears that supposedly reside in a sanctuary in Germany. Strangely, they began losing their fur at a certain point without any apparent reason. In fact, even the zookeepers couldn't pinpoint the exact cause. Either way, you have to admit that bears look pretty different when they don't have their coating and fur. Although the circumstances are unfortunate, it's interesting to see. Wouldn't you say? Stepping away from the mysterious, let's look at something humorous. Have you ever seen a bear scratch itself? <laughs> Watch this footage. Given that they don't have arms or the flexibility we do, they have to count on external means to scratch their backs. Most bears also live alone, leaving them with no assistance. During such times, trees become their best companions. And let's be honest, when you add music to the mix, their back scratching resembles a dance. Have you ever seen a bear do this in real life? Tell us in the comment section. Now, onto something really scary and eerie. Since starting this channel, we've reviewed a lot of weird footage, some of which we can't even share, but believe me when I say, none of them has made our stomachs turn like what you are about to watch. The video starts with a weirdly dressed man ushering a young lady who seems to be in her nightwear into the woods. The lady, seemingly entranced, obediently follows the man's instructions without any sign of resistance. When you watch the video for the first time, you don't notice it, but there is another weird looking man in the bushes also signaling the two, or rather the lady to come into the bush. They enter the bushes and the clip ends. According to the owner of the trail cam that captured this chilling scene, neither the strange duo nor the young lady returned from the bush. And here's the kicker. The owner has no clue who the lady even is. The scary thing about this footage is that it was recorded as recently as April 2023. The paranormal community believes those were either skinwalkers or ritualists. Although we can't say for sure, none of these groups is good news for the lady. For the first time, I'm actually hoping this is a hoax, because if it's not, we've just witnessed creatures of the night kidnap a young girl. 
Who knows what they have done and are possibly doing to her even at this moment. This trail cam was set to capture an unknown creature that was rumored to be living in the woods. Some stated that it was the legendary Grey Man, which is considered by some to be a benevolent spirit that warns humans of impending danger. As no one had seen it, no one knew what to expect until this trail camera recorded a creature in this footage which many thought was the Grey Man. As you can see from the footage, there's a cute creature standing amidst the woods, seemingly awestruck. It stands for a while and then quickly retreats into the woods. Do you think this is truly the Grey Man? Or could it be a small monkey or some other small critter that had been mistaken for it? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Ah, the stage is set for a spine-tingling tale from the depths of the unknown. In this footage, we have a crew of brave sewage workers descending into the underbelly of an abandoned sewer in Liverpool, but guess what they encounter on their way down? As the intrepid explorers ventured deep into the subterranean labyrinth, a flicker of movement in the shadows caught their attention. A mysterious figure, an enigmatic intruder lurking in the darkness. Did I say intruder? It looked like it was pretty much at home. Perhaps the sewage workers were the ones invading its home and had to make sure it was safe. Either way, eager to capture this unearthly encounter, they whipped out their trusty recording device, turning the scene into a reel straight out of a found footage thriller. And there, in the obsidian abyss, behold the unexpected, a pair of luminous eyes akin to stars glimpsing through the fabric of the cosmos. As soon as the eyes noticed they were being filmed or watched, they retreated. Within seconds, however, those glowing eyes return, accompanied by a spectral arm reaching out from the darkness, its fingers tracing the very walls as if they held secrets untold. Alas, the jig was up. The creature had been caught in the spotlight, and in a flash it scurried away like a character fleeing the scene of a crime. What manner of being is this, you ask? A creature straddling the line between the human and the monstrous, its arms hinting at a humanoid form, while its radiant eyes evoke the eerie allure of the unknown. There is only one creature that fits this description. The Rake. What do you think? Next, we have this trail cam footage that's had us scratching our heads. What do you see in the footage? It starts off looking like your everyday trail cam capture, a nice capture of a raccoon going about its business in the evening, but look up. Do you see it? Right in the top corner of the footage, there are a set of lights moving in a way that makes me believe they're from the same aircraft. But no human aircraft have lights arranged like that unless I'm unaware, which I highly doubt. To add to that, there are no flight paths where this footage was taken. What could we be dealing with then? Well, the answer is simple, a potential spacecraft. Just a few weeks ago, my claims might have seemed far-fetched, but considering that certain well-known government entities are now monitoring spacecrafts, I don't think I'm too far off the mark. Seriously though, what do you think that thing in the footage is? Tell us in the comments section. Still on cryptids, have a look at this security cam footage. Did you see the creature? That was an ape-like being trying so hard to cross the street undetected in the dead of the night. While it managed to evade human eyes, it couldn't escape the vigilant gaze of the security camera. You don't need to be told after seeing it the first time to know it's Bigfoot. But here's the thing. Unlike most Bigfoot clips we've seen, this creature moves incredibly fast for its size. It's fascinating the way it moves. It's like it's completely in its element. Sure, it has an ape-like body, but its movements are so eerily human. One question remains. Where was it headed? Honestly, who knows where it was headed? One thing's for certain, I wouldn't want to encounter it at night, especially if it's prowling around for food. And my guess, that's probably what brought it to town. After all, what else will a Bigfoot be doing in town at night? Or is this a hoax? Share your thoughts. For our next video, we visit Chiajales, Canada. 
take a look at these tracks. What do you think made them? You don't need to be a genius to know this was done by something big and possibly dangerous. Whatever it was, it had to have big feet. We all know what the culprit should be, the one and only Bigfoot. Now let's delve into the story behind these intriguing tracks. It all began when a family stumbled upon them during one of their outings. At first, they believed it to be a one-time occurrence. However, as time went on and they continued spotting these tracks in different seasons, it became increasingly clear that the creature resided in close proximity. This was all hypothetical until someone in the family actually saw the creature in its full glory. It was no ape or a bear or any other large mammal you can think of. It was actually Bigfoot. Interestingly, even after discovering that Bigfoot resides nearby, the family has chosen to remain in their home. In fact, one brave member even throws stones at the creature whenever they cross paths, boldly stating that they're not afraid. What would you have done if it were you and your family? Would you have stayed or would you have moved? Tell us in the comments section. There is something about mountain hiking and paranormal sightings. People who go to the highlands always seem to have a tale to tell, especially on the Appalachian Trail. This footage was uploaded onto the internet and it remains a mystery to date. A hiker went to the Appalachian Trail when he came across this strange creature. The creature looked like some kind of a bird, but was bigger. It had white feathers and a large beak. However, its eyes were big and hollow. The creature stood hidden behind a tree, so it's hard to make out the rest of its features. The internet became a canvas for the world to ponder, a virtual gallery for the enigma captured on film. Yet alas, despite the collective brain power of the internet's denizens, the creature remains nameless, its identity as elusive as the morning mist. The realm of possibility widens. Is this an undiscovered species, an interdimensional visitor, or a resident of the paranormal's menagerie? What do you think? What you are looking at is a cast made from what is suspected to be the footprint of a Bigfoot. Somewhere in Colombia, a man went fishing when he felt an eerie sensation as though he was being watched by something dangerous. He turned around just in time to catch sight of a massive creature staring at him from a distance. When the stalker noticed it had been spotted, it quickly dashed into the woods. The fisherman chased it after, but soon lost sight of it. He returned to the spot where the creature had been standing, only to see huge footprints that were left in the sand by whatever it was that he'd chased. One foot of the prints was about 12 inches long and 5 inches wide. It was definitely much bigger than that of any human he knew. There was only one creature that could have left a print as large and abominable as what you see. We have something else that we have a hard time explaining. Wondering what I'm talking about? Have a look. Did you see that? Did you see the third deer appear out of thin air as characters spawn in a video game? If you did, you aren't seeing things. It really did happen. The question is, how? Well, no one knows. Now, here's where things get interesting. The paranormal community suggests it might be an animal spirit or something of the sort. Sounds intriguing, right? But here's the problem. Why would the spirit choose that particular time of the day and reveal itself to multiple people? It just doesn't quite add up. Something that the driver might have offended the spirits, but we can't say for sure. Others, including myself, thought it was just a glitch in the Matrix. In case you are not familiar with the terminology, it's the belief that you and I are just in a computer simulation like the Matrix movies. This simulation from time to time breaks, which creates the kind of situation we're seeing with the deer. There are also some who think it's merely an optical illusion Due to the perspective, and as logical as that sounds, it's hard to believe in this case. Some also subscribe to the idea that the footage is edited and it's a hoax. But you saw the footage too, what do you think? Still on the subject of Bigfoot, you might want to see this next footage taken that might just be the most controversial Bigfoot post we have ever made. In the first few seconds of the footage, we see a struggle between whoever is recording and a larger creature. The creature appears ape-like. 
According to the explorer whose video it is, that was a scuffle between himself and Bigfoot. Sounds wild, right? And there's more to the story. This intrepid explorer claims to have successfully killed the creature. He even provides pictures and, more astonishingly, the corpse's evidence. Let's take a look. Yep, that's Bigfoot, according to the explorer. He actually believes and states he killed Bigfoot. If you're struggling to see the Bigfoot in the footage, it might be due to his actions, but let's pause for a moment. What are your thoughts? Could he have indeed met the creature, or is this a made-up story to get famous? Share your thoughts and feelings in the comments section. In this episode, we bring back our bonus footage section. Can you guess what this beautiful creature is? It looks beautiful, doesn't it? But what creature is it? What species? Do you know any facts about them? If you do, tell us in the comments section. Start with bonus footage so we easily identify it. The most accurate description with the rarest fact will win a feature in our next video. All the best. Next, we have this trail cam capture, which we've had a hard time interpreting. If you take a closer look at the image, you see a creature that looks like a deer, either staring at or looking in the direction of the trail cam. Instead of a head and face to match, this deer appears to have something that looks like a lamp on its head. This makes it hard to tell what's going on with its head and face. But what if it's not having a lamp on its head? What if that's how its head and face are? What if it glows because it's no ordinary deer, but a spiritual one? Before you laugh and dismiss it, think about it. How would you explain this capture? Experts who have reviewed the image believe it's authentic. If that's truly the case, how do you explain a deer with a glowing face? You can't, can you? Next, we have eerie footage that was taken while some kids were playing outside. As the kids innocently played and enjoyed themselves, a creature started to emerge from the background heading toward them. They seemed unaware of the creature until it was only a few meters from them. It was at this point that one of the kids noticed and called out to the rest. Without wasting much time, they all rushed out of the place and made it out safely. But let's take a second look at the footage when the creature appears. Did you see it? Although the trees have blocked the full view of the creature, you can make out a humanoid creature walking on two feet. It moves slowly as though it were a zombie. Its face, although not very visible, is not so human. It's hard to say what kind of creature it is just from the details, but many who have seen the video believe it's a hoax and nothing more than a father playing pranks on his kids. What do you think? Now let's shift gears and bask in the heartwarming embrace of nature's comedians, the southern pigtailed macaques, the real VIPs of the jungle catwalk. These fuzzy mischief makers, known scientifically as Macaca Nemestrina, are the stars of today's show. Confused? Watch this. Cute, right? Well, don't let their cherubic appearances fool you. For beneath those innocent faces lie the souls of true tricksters. Observe as they gather round the camera like paparazzi at a Hollywood premiere, curiously inspecting this alien contraption in their jungle paradise. They hop, they skip, they swing, and all the while they're plotting their next grand caper. What could that be, you ask? Hold on to your bananas, folks, for the climax is nigh. One brave, or should we say brazen, member of the troop steps up to the plate with a glint of mischief in those mischievous eyes. It reaches out to snag the device. Is it successful, though? Well, we're watching the footage, meaning they never got away with it. Although the camera falls out of place, for some odd reason, these monkeys are unable to get away with it, fortunately for their owner. But have you had any encounters with monkeys or apes of any kind? Did they steal anything from you? Tell us in the comments section as we'd really love to know. We've been asking you to send in your footage and one subscriber sent in these odd and enigmatic captures and they are just the way we like them. Have a look. These captures were taken in the woodlands some time ago. They're oddly intriguing us, making it challenging to determine their nature. In the captures, we see some kind of dark furred creature moving through the leaves. While the features are different to discern, it's clear that the creature in the footage bears no resemblance to humans or any known wildlife. 
From the capture, we can tell that whatever it is, assuming it's not a large shadow or simply a function of the camera, is huge. This leads us to consider the intriguing possibility that we might be dealing with a cryptid. And which cryptid fits the bill? Well, you guessed it. Bigfoot. Could this enigmatic figure be Bigfoot? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Next, we have this very confusing image we just can't seem to make sense of. Can you help? In the footage, we see what looks like a panther with white tusks and a translucent-looking figure by it. At first glance, it might appear as if we're looking at the panther with white tusks resembling those of an extinct saber-toothed tiger. However, upon closer examination, some might argue it could be the backside of the panther. But which is it? Could this be an otherworldly creature, or is it simply a poor image by the trail cam due to lighting and environmental conditions? Share your thoughts with us. Next, we have this trail cam capture of what looks like a wolf-dog creature with the body of an ape and the gait of a bipedal creature such as a human. If you're a subscriber and a follower of this channel, then you know we've come across creatures that look like this in the past. The ones we've seen, however, look much more like either a dog or a wolf, but this particular one looks like it has a bear's face. Although each is slightly different, they all have the face of a canine, which fits the description of the Dogman creature. If you're hearing of the Dogman for the first time, it's a humanoid creature with the body of a human and the head of a canine, which may be that of a wolf or a dog. It also stated, tall and muscular with sharp teeth and claws. You don't need to be an expert on the subject to know we're looking at the embodiment of the creature on your screens. One question remains though, is this really the dog man or is it fake? Tell us what you think. I have had chills, but never have I had chills down my spine like this before. And guess the culprit. The next footage I'm about to show you, the footage was taken by residents of Oregon way back in 2013. <laughs> From the depths of the woods, a chorus of hysterical laughter echoes through the night, sending shivers down spines and chills through souls. The very air seems to vibrate with the eerie sound, a melody that's both haunting and otherworldly. No one knows what or who was making the sounds, but one dared venture into the woods to find out. Some speculate it could be a hyena, a creature known for its distinctive cackles, but with every passing moment, doubt creeps in. The sheer loudness and persistent nature of the laughter seems to defy any logical explanation. Whatever this entity is, it's not your typical forest dweller. Behold the spectacle that beckons us into the heart of the woods. A sight that prompts us to question our senses. Is that a tree sprouting horns? But hold your breath, dear observers, for truth often dances on the fine line between the extraordinary and the everyday. While our minds may be inclined to plunge into the depths of the paranormal, this tale hails from a different realm, one where the spirits of tradition and ritual intertwine with the roots of the earth itself. As people of the paranormal community are tempted to believe this is a tree growing horns, fear not, dear enthusiasts of the unexplained, for the answer for this enigma lies within the annals of human history. There is an ancient ritual where the natives of the land back then put the slaughtered heads of rams into the trunk of the tree. With time as their muse, they fused with the very fibers of the tree, becoming one with its essence and a mortal testament to the connection between the tangible and the mystical. That's what's happening here, at least we think so. If you believe it's mystical, however, we won't take that from you. Next, we have this trail cam capture from the wild. You don't need to be an animal expert to know that there is a lot wrong with this wild animal. Its eyes look weird, which I doubt the camera and lighting have anything to do with, and one of its horns is pointing the wrong way. Now, here's where things get interesting. Many viewers who saw this capture have put forward theories. Some suggest it could be a mutated deer or the result of a government project gone wrong. 
but in my opinion, the deer seems to be simply sick and in need of help. What do you think? Do you believe in ghosts? If your answer is no, then this footage might just shock the unbeliever out of you. Don't believe me? Have a look. Did you see it? Did you see the transparent being walk in and out of frame as though he had no care in the world? There's no denying that it's a ghost, but how? Even the people who recorded this footage are baffled and can't make sense of it. They ignored it until they went into the woods with another man who began experiencing an eerie presence he couldn't make sense of. He turned to the next person and tried to describe what he was feeling and was told to say no more. The man showed in the video his friend had recorded some weeks prior and it confirmed everything. The video is what you just watched. The woods they were in was not normal. There was something or some things out there, and they were definitely not from our plane of reality. In simple terms, the place was haunted. The men knew this, and they still came back because they had to hunt. But do tell me, would you go back into a forest if you knew it was haunted, even if your livelihood depended on it? Tell us. We'd love to know your perspective. Next, we take a trip to an area near Hudson Bay in July 2011. The footage was taken by a man who was being disturbed by strange and unexplained noises. Instead of running, however, he decided to investigate, but with his camera rolling, what he discovered left him terrified. As he was investigating the noise, he stumbled upon a creature in the darkness. It was a ghastly creature, pale in appearance, its eyes ominously glowing, lurking on the ground. Though the footage is a bit shaky, you can still make out what looks like a pair of human-like arms. Not long after this discovery, the video ended. That creature looked nothing like a human. It had no ears or any visual indication of a nose. The wide skin and glowing eyes of the creature are reminiscent of a rake. For those unfamiliar with them, rakes are paranormal creatures that are known to stalk people. Approach them and they won't hesitate to attack. Although they are humanoid, they also appear to be crouching and are extremely pale. What do you think? Was the creature the man found a rake? Or is it all fake? Tell us in the comments section. If you've been a faithful follower of our chronicles, you're well aware that venturing alone into the depths of the woods is a recipe for hair-raising adventures that you won't find in any travel brochure. Watch this video. The footage was captured by a lone hiker innocently embracing the serenity of nature's embrace, unaware of the chilling plot twist about to unfold. As he meanders through the leafy labyrinth, a peculiar sensation tingles down his spine, a subtle whisper of unease that only Mother Nature can master. He turned around only to spot this strange woman standing by a tree. Frozen in time, this spectral maiden gazes upon the world with a lifeless demeanor. But here's where things go from eerie to downright bone-chilling. Rivulets of a crimson-like liquid trickle down her face like a nightmarish raindrop painting her existence with an otherworldly palette. Was she a mere illusion, a puppetry of light and shadow, or did the woods conceal something far more sinister? A ritual gone awry, an ancient curse brought to life in this isolated clearing? Could it be a fallen soul trapped between realms or a mirage concocted by the forest's twisted imagination? Or could it simply be a setup and a hoax? It's hard to say, but what do you think? If you have followed and been on this channel for long, you know we only love to post trail cam captures, but this next one has us so spooked that we just had to show it to you. Have a look. The video starts with what looks like a couple of friends enjoying a drive. This atmosphere is, however, interrupted when they realize that there's something chasing them, which is weird because they're on a highway. Glancing behind, they spot a figure, or perhaps a humanoid-like creature, in pursuit. In a matter of seconds, the creature closes in, prompting them to accelerate. But how could it catch up so quickly? Who or what is this? Even Usain Bolt might struggle to match such speed. Upon closer examination, we notice the creature's white or pale skin and distinctly human-like features. Yet, the extraordinary speed and appearance defy any human explanation. Our thoughts turn to the possibility of a cryptid, perhaps even the infamous rake. But can a rake move with such speed? Well, that remains a mystery, but what do you guys think? 
In the clip, we see some boaters filming their time out on the lake when a creature moves in between the trees in the land ahead of them. The creature moves quickly as though it didn't want to be seen. Creatures in the wild are always shy, so this would not be odd, but we see the boaters head toward the land as they wanted to see the creature up close. But why? Watch this zoomed-in version of the footage and you can understand why. Did you see it? That's an ape-like creature and there are no apes in Ontario. If you take a closer look at the footage, it gets even more suspicious. Although the creature looks like an ape, it has human-like gait. Do you know any other creatures that look like apes with human-like features and traits? Yes, you guessed right. Bigfoot. There's a Bigfoot in Ontario, and this is just one of many bits of evidence. There's one question we've been asking, though. Is there just one Bigfoot in these woods, or is there an entire community simply hiding from us? Share your thoughts. For our next footage, we visit Canada, specifically Saskatchewan. Sounds like a place to find a Sasquatch, doesn't it? Turns out you can actually find one there. While patrolling the reserve, a security officer caught sight of this large, dark-furred creature approximately 10 feet tall walking across the field. Thinking it was a bear, he looked at the animal moving only to realize that the creature was effortlessly moving on two legs and lazily swinging its arms. He soon realized that he was dealing with no bear, it was something much more. Considering the history of Sasquatch sightings in the area, he quickly realized he was witnessing one himself. Determined to capture the moment, he reached for his camera, but unfortunately by then the creature was almost out of sight. What do you think though? Is that really a Sasquatch or is it something else? Imagine you walk into the woods and see a woman in black walking across the path a few meters from you. What would you do? The best option is to run, and that's exactly what the uploader did. Upon reviewing the footage from her camera, she realized that the strange occurrences didn't begin deep in the woods, but actually started right before she entered. As you can see, an entity peered out and looked at her before she entered the woods. Is the forest haunted? Or is there a demonic being trailing the woman? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Next, we have some of our clearest and quite frankly beautiful pictures of Bigfoot. Take a close look at the date inscriptions on this image and you'll notice that this picture dates back to 2015. It's unmistakably a Bigfoot, one glance is all it takes. The bipedal creature has a lot of fur all over its body and walks upright as a human does. It's a Bigfoot. While we'd love to share more details about the location and number of Bigfoots present in the image, the subscriber who sent it wishes to keep that information undisclosed. According to the subscriber, there are Bigfoot enthusiasts as well as secret government departments actively hunting down these magnificent creatures. But what do you think, real or not? Deep in the depths of a forgotten realm, an unspeakable horror slumbers. Its name was whispered only in hushed tones by those daring enough to delve into the realm of nightmares. Prepare yourselves, for we are about to uncover the chilling tale of a creature shrouded in darkness. In the shadows of Venezuela's Gran Sabana region, an abomination awaits, lurking in the abyss. It emerges from its lair, a monstrous figure with twisted limbs and a hideous countenance. Its form, a grotesque amalgamation of unearthly proportions, strikes fear into the hearts of those unfortunate enough to behold it. This creature, concealed within the mists of myth, possesses a gaze that pierces the soul, eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. They seem to hold the secrets of the abyss itself. Its ghastly appearance, a maddening fusion of monstrous features, defies comprehension. Legends speak of its monstrous claws, sharp and serrated, capable of rending flesh from bone with ease. Its monstrous form appears to defy the laws of nature, contorting in ways that should not be possible. What nightmare birthed such a creature into existence? Prepare yourselves for the name of this abomination 
is none other than the Venezuelan poodle moth. Yes, my friends, let us cast away the shroud of terror and embrace the light of understanding. The Venezuelan poodle moth, despite its monstrous appearance, is a creature of nature, fascinating in its own right. It's a moth white in color, with wings adorned with feathery structures that set it apart from its kin. Its unique physical traits captivate the imagination and have garnered attention among enthusiasts and researchers alike. But do not be deceived, for this creature is not a monster, but a wondrous product of evolution. Its fluffy exterior serves as a purpose beyond our initial apprehension. By utilizing its fluff, the Venezuelan poodle moth can dampen the sound it emits, confounding its predators, bats, making it a master of stealth in the darkness. Furthermore, within the very fibers of its fluff lies a substance akin to cellulose, playing a role in the orientation of cell expansion. It's a connection to the fundamental principles that shape life itself. So, my dear adventurers, let us marvel at the mysterious and embrace the beauty that lies within the unknown. The Venezuelan poodle moth, once shrouded in terror, reveals itself as a captivating creature, a testament to the wonders of nature's endless variety. All right, folks, buckle up for some intriguing photographic evidence that'll make your jaw drop. We've got a series of stunning pictures capturing a picturesque waterfall in Colorado. But hold on tight, because there's more to these pictures than meets the eye. Now picture this. A talented photographer snaps away, capturing the beauty of the waterfall in all its glory. Little did they know that they had an unexpected visitor in their frame. It wasn't until a friend took a closer look and pointed it out that the owner even noticed something unusual. And there it was, in one of the pictures, a massive, brown-furred creature standing on a hill by the waterside. Talk about a shocker. Naturally, they couldn't help but wonder if this majestic beast was none other than the legendary Bigfoot. They meticulously went through all the pictures taken at the same location, but none of them revealed this enigmatic brown-furred creature. That's when their suspicions reached new heights. Could this truly be a sighting of Bigfoot? Now, for all those unfamiliar, Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch, is said to roam the mountainous regions shrouded in mystery. Reports describe them as towering beings, standing at least eight to nine feet tall, if not more. And here we have this creature visible in that one elusive picture. But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Could this be a genuine encounter with the elusive Bigfoot, or might it be something else entirely? Perhaps a moving rock playing tricks on our eyes. It's a tantalizing mystery that's got us all guessing. But what do you personally think? If the enigmatic lady gave you shivers, what follows might just send you tumbling into a whirlwind of spine-tingling disbelief. Brace yourselves, for the stage is now set for a nightmarish performance captured by the ever-watchful lens of a trail cam. A creature, not of this world or realm, emerges from the shadows. A colossal figure, wolf-like in form, but oh, so much more. Glowing eyes pierce through the darkness, their radiance reminiscent of moonlight. This entity, this aberration that defies the very fabric of logic, boasts muscles that will make even Schwarzenegger raise an eyebrow. Imagine a wolf sculpted by the hands of a bodybuilder, a creature whose brawn could wrestle with the very essence of fear itself. As if that was not enough, it has a face that strikes terror into the hearts of the stoutest souls. Although we may never experience its bite, it has teeth that appear to be as sharp as a guillotine's blade, and for some odd reason it has eyes locked onto the camera with great yet fearful intensity. That's certainly no ordinary wolf. I mean, its features look like a splice between human and wolf DNA. The proportions are all wrong. This creature stands defiantly on the outskirts of normalcy, its very size a challenge to reality itself. If you love the paranormal, identifying this shouldn't be too hard. It's definitely a werewolf. But is this image real, though? If there truly is a creature out there that looks like this, well, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. What do you think? When it comes to UFO encounters, you mostly hear accounts of one saucer sighting, but in this intriguing footage captured in 2023, a woman's camera lens captured a fleet of saucers dancing in the celestial expanse. What the fuck? 
Not just one, but three, possibly four, or perhaps even more of these enigmatic flying objects gracing the firmament. A speculation abounds, with some quick to dismiss these celestial dancers as mere drones, a closer inspection reveals the unmistakable silhouette of the classic saucer. You guys see it too, right? What do you think? Please tell us in the comments section. And with that, we end today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Before you go, are there popular trail cams you've come across that you think we should absolutely feature on this channel? Please tell us in the comments section. If you personally have odd footage you recorded yourself, can you forward it to us at classifiedcaptures at gmail.com? We'll do the needful analysis and include it in our next episode. We'll also credit you with it unless, of course, you want to remain anonymous. We can't wait to receive your clips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with friends and family. See you in the next one.